I will speak about diabetic emergencies. There are two diabetic emergencies. One is arising out of low blood sugar, which is called as hypoglycemia, and one which is because of high blood sugar that can also cause coma. Far by far, low blood sugar is more common, and as the blood sugar of the patient reduces because of taking excess of medication or not because of not eating enough, when the blood sugar drops, person may go into uh, have giddiness, tiredness, sweating, palpitation, and may go into coma. For such patients, if the patient is conscious, then we have to give some soft drink or cold drink or some carbohydrate more than 15 grams. As soon as you give, then we can check it, check the blood sugar after 15 minutes. And if the glucose is no, not uh, normal, you can repeat the same. If the sugar is very low or if the person has lost consciousness, uh, then it is better to shift the patient to the nearest hospital for further medications. Today I am going to speak about type 1 diabetes and its relation to helvety. As such, type 2 diabetes is more common uh, in heredity and transmitted more frequently. There is genetic predisposition and type 1 diabetes, it is very rare. Usually type 1 diabetes is due to autoimmune disease, due to destruction of the beta cells, due to autoantibodies. And usually this happens after a small viral infection in the childhood. There may be other causes, but most commonly it starts as an autoimmune disorder. So that is leads to a relative or absolute deficiency of insulin in the body and the patient has to depend on external replacement of insulin for survival. Today, we will speak about type 2 diabetes and its relation with heredity. Type 2 diabetes is very common in the offsprings of those parents who have diabetes. So we say diabetes runs in the families. So type 2 diabetes is more commonly transferred to the children. Not only that, it is not absolutely genetic but other external conditions also contribute. For example, obesity in childhood, sedentary life. Uh, bad eating habits, all these pose uh, risk factors and uh, the children can develop the type 2 diabetes at an early age. So if you want to prevent or reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, we have to start quite early in the childhood by good lifestyle interventions. We are discussing about type 2 diabetes and whether how to reduce the risk for transmission to the next generation. As we know, type 2 diabetes is a hereditary disorder. Contribution is there. How can we reduce risk is by acting very early in the childhood. The children of the parents who are having diabetes, for them we should try to maintain proper good habit uh, for dietary habits, proper weight maintenance of weight and everyday exercise. So if these good habits are inculcated at an early age, the risk of type 2 diabetes happening in those childs will be lessened. <music>